I need to meditate first. Oh. Oh. The show starts when I say it does, Mark. Oh. Oh. Dude, you don't even know what you're saying or doing right now. He, he, doesn't, know how, he doesn't know what his ohms are. Exactly. You, you don't even know what an ohm is. Ohms. Ohms. Mark, have you ever done um, any type of yoga? <laughs> Mark's like, yoga? What's that? That'd be a negative. You've never done yoga? My body is not built for yoga. Did you do male gymnastics in middle school? <laughs> no. Mark's like, the only yoga I know is the naked yoga on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> he likes, he's like, he likes yogurt, yogurt ice cream. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'll do yogurt, not yoga. Yeah. Uh, 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 those nights. Are you ready, uh, Mike? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. You look ready. You, are you ready, Mark? I'm ready, motherfucker. All right, let's do it. <laughs> We are live. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome back to the great team, the motherfucking vape team. Thursday night excellence back again. This is 149. We are one away from 150. And Mark is already getting up and doing some sort of a hand twirl. I don't even know what he's doing. Anyway, with me as always, the man with the master plan, the king of clouds, Mr. Matchy Matchy, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg. Uh, on the live feed, our names are like, on, that's weird. Our names are what? Our, our names. And you nice. The door. Hey, <laughs> what up, country boy? <laughs> Maybe uh, I should lock the room. Oh. I'm gonna lock the room now. Thank you. Yeah. Who the yeah. fuck was that? <laughs> that was country boy. You don't know he's he's new on the show. Holy Jesus. Yep. Did he have his dick in his hands? Yes. <laughs> he was ready for the normal show we do with him on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> I vanished off the screen now. You're back now. Okay. Uh, Our names are like in big white letters. Yeah. What's up with that? Uh, do you think that's bad? <laughs> Why do they got to be white letters? Or yeah, maybe I'll... I, I mean, I could fix it if you want to pause the show. What do you think? I want people to know my name, though. Here, I'll so. fix it. I'll fix it. Mark, why don't you <clears throat> do a little bit of your buffet action? So we're going to do this. It's all you can vape buffet time. Mark is going to lead us with his buffet, and then I'll fix the sizing and everything like that. We've only done 149 shows, so we're still learning this thing. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> Great. So while I'm doing my buffet, you're going to fuck the screen up and fuck me up. I might. I might. Bitch, all right. Yeah. I am vaping on the... Do, 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 the Soma de la Havana DNA 200 with the Prince Junior, Prince Baby, Prince Baby Junior, whatever the fuck it's called. I got the... What is it called? Hold on. <gasps> Why the fuck... Oh, my God. Oh, the Chroma. There we go. God damn. There it is from Itakin. Got the Vape Team DNA 250 with the Themis. Is that how you say it, Mike? Yes, sir. Themis. There you go. Themis from Geek Vape. And I got the, I want to say Lustro. No? No, right? 
Lustro baby with the drop. Oh, that's the drop on. RDA. I'm on a roll tonight with the drop from Asmodis. Not the drop, but Killer Custard Lemon. I'm on my second bottle. Some Asai. Uh, this is Rape. No, not Rape. Is it Rape? <laughs> right. <laughs> Ripe Vines. Uh, I think it's called VCT. Some really goddamn good tobacco. And I got some Nick Salt from Ruthless. It's salt flavored. Cool. That's it. I don't, yes, know, I, don't, I don't understand why I can't remove these names tonight. Aren't they usually on the screen? No, but that's right. I just leave them there. Fuck it. The only you got to do is go inside Zoom settings and uncheck display names. Hmm. Zoom settings and dis unchecked display names. Yeah, plus people are saying the, the video quality is not there. It's not. A, I look foggy as fuck on the actual live feed. Really? But it's at it is at 1080 60 frames. Hmm. hmm. That's weird. I'm looking at settings right now. Uh. It's very unprofessional from us. Right. Yeah, I I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I know this. I like the throat kicky taste from some cantaloupe cream. I know that. So what am I vaping on tonight? <clears throat> I'm vaping on the Aug Vape V200 with the Reload RTA on top. I also have the Ronin Competition Mod V2 with the Iconic on top. I also have a little bit of this Hit That Donut Boston Creme from HitThatJuice.com Boston Cream. And a little bit of this icing on the flake. Icing on the flake. What are you calling right. a flake? I'm calling you a flake, you frosted flake. Son of a bitch. Uh, next up, I have a drop RDA with the V on top, or the V on the bottom. Ooh. The V is the power bottom to my drop on top. And what else do I got? A little SQ action. From Signature Tips, Dark Knight Edition. And last but not least, everybody's heard about the bird, and I'm vaping on the bird. Bird, 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 the bird. bird. So, Mike, you're up. All right, I'm vaping on two nights the Boxer DNA 250C with the Iconic. Uh, we have inside there some Asai, some Asai Berry. Vaping on that. I busted out this jammy. Remember this? Bam! Castigador. Got the Castigador. And I have the uh, hashtag Thug Life RDA on top of there. Uh, juice in here is... Uh, what do I got here? I don't oh, cannoli. Some Hundo cannoli inside there. Vaping on that. Also vaping on the Double Barrel Squid Industries with the Wake RTA. We're going to talk about this one tonight. And here I have some... Uh, Tony B's Blue Pucker inside there. I'm also vaping on a Zenith with the Chroma. Uh, I have inside here some... Uh, what do I have in here? I think it's... This is a 6 milligram um, uh, peaches and cream. That's what it is. Yep, peaches and cream. Vaping on that. And I'm also vaping on uh, a Limelight Gloom with the B2K. And the uh, liquid that I have inside here is... Oh, I don't even remember what I put in there. Oh, Naked Lava Flow. That's it. That's what has be vaping. Nice. Bitch. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to... Something's going on tonight with the computer. So I'm trying to figure out what it is. Don't, don't fuck with anything. Just leave it alone. I, I already started. <laughs> oh, come oh. on. Yeah, it's it's one of those. I'm trying. Hold on, let me just remove Mike's screen real quick, and then <laughs> <laughs> it's everything's gonna be a little smaller. I don't know. It seems like the something's it fucked up. Like you, it seems like you have the uh, like you cranked up the you stretched out the, the screens too far, and you could, it's really pixelated. Yeah, that's why you see the name so large. Yep. I wouldn't worry about it though. Fuck it, leave it. Unless you're going to stop it and redo it, I would just leave it. You're going to yeah. fuck it up. And... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you think after all this time, you would exactly know what you're doing, but apparently not. I don't think so. Yeah. Hey, seems like I it. vanished. Yeah, bye, Mike. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, making it worse. We're going to have to end the show, I think. I think the Russians are hacking the vape team, guys. Who is that? Yeah. Is Mike really not on the screen? Yeah, he's not. The whole thing is not right. Well, what you can do, okay, so don't stop the broadcast on YouTube. You could just reset um, XSplit and then just resend the feed. That might work. I don't know. I actually, you know what? I'm not saying anything because if something fucks up, I'm not part of it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I think we're I good right leave. now. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> fuck. <sighs> so Mike, you wanted to show off your little thing you got in the mail. I know. The beautiful MV button. Oh, I, just, I showed it before. Right there. Limelight. Yeah. What is that made of? Fucking gorgeous. Uh, they got a fancy name for it. It's basically Delrin. Oh, okay. Thinking. But it feels nice. She's a beauty. Got the new, uh, what is it like? Uh, what do you call this? I forget, Sam Blasted? Or whatever you want to call it. Media Blasted? Media Blasted, that's what it is. Media Blasted uh, B2K top cap on there. Nice. Yeah. Wow, the feed looks like shit. I don't know what's... I, I didn't do anything different than I've done 149 shows before. You ever restart your computer, Ryan? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Last time it was like four months ago. Yeah. Someone's good to give it like a restart so it flushes out the memory and all that shit. Yeah. Someone's like, I never heard of Nuckin. Nuckin, the eye is missing. That's all right. They know what it is. This is going to be the potato show because we all look like we're potatoes tonight. Oh, my God. Are we moving like... Five frames a second. Hey everybody! No, I think the feeds. I think the feeds moving fine. I just think that it's the the resolution for some reason is not what it usually is for this show. Nope. Which is really strange. Hmm. Who knows? You know how this this type of stuff uh, triggers me. And it sets me off center. So my thoughts are all on how it's fucked up, and I can't even think about what I'm doing right now. All right. Let's yeah. let's let's start the show. Let's talk. Forget about how the screen is. People can at least hear us. Sure. Yeah. yeah we um, turn into a like a radio show. Yeah, they can hear us. They can see us. It's fine. It's all good. We could screw up uh, once in the video feed a little bit. Yeah. It looks terrible. But anyway, uh, let's talk about the week RTA. Yes. All right. There's been a lot of drama going on. Uh, from heavy show, then it's an ST show this morning about the wake. Basically, the wake RTA. People are saying that the the cap that goes over your build, your cotton and your build before you put this whole top piece on, that it, it's defective. That the holes aren't cut out right. Now, mine I showed everybody. I have the same exact one that uh, was Shane Smith and Dear Addy had issues with theirs. So. I decided to bust mine out to get it ready for the show. As I was getting it ready, I had it in an ultrasonic cleaner, I started building it, and I get an email. I look, and it was the owner of Wake Mods. Okay? He messaged me, and he told me everything, told me all the rundown, the scoop, everything. Uh, anyway, the guy that uh, Shane Smith was talking to, which I don't know, people probably don't know who Shane Smith is. He's a viewer. He's usually in uh, live chat. But anyway, he said that... Uh, the guy that was talking customer service or whoever he was, social media, I don't know if it was off Instagram, he's been dealt with. And that's not the way Wake, uh, their company operates. Now, as far as the tank itself, there are not defects. There's nothing wrong with this tank. Okay. Uh, the first 3,500 pieces that they made, it was with that opening where the hole, where you could see the whole box open. And they decided to change it up and they did it different this way. <coughs> And they've had no complaints at all until recently from, I guess, uh, a couple of people over it because they think that their tanks are defects. I also thought it was a defect because I watched some reviewer, and I think I saw Ambition's video, and he had one of the original ones. But then I seen on, like, Element Vape, this one being sold with the cutout the way this one is. For people being confused right now, they're like, what the hell is Mike talking about? I could quickly show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Let's turn the slide on. This 
zoomed in. You see the opening? Is it going to show it? There we go. You can see the opening where the wicking is. It looks like half of it is only open. Okay, which that's not the case. The original, the first 3,500 they made, it was higher. The opening, now they just made it lower. All right, so let me give you guys my results on vaping it today. Let me get out of there. There we go. My, like. You look good, Mike. What's going on here? What happened? Okay. No, I was presented, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I messed around with it. And uh, people were saying that because they think that because that opening is lower, you're going to get dry hits. Now, I did a build in here. I wicked it the first time where I thought it should be wicked. And I was vaping this thing at uh, 95 watts, 0.12 build, chain vaping it. And I could not get a dry hit out of it, nothing. So I was like, all right, let me now do it the way I think other people are doing it. And I did it that way. I wicked it the wrong way. And uh, it wouldn't even, I couldn't do 80 watts with that build. It uh -huh. was just, so I re-wicked it again, did it the way I originally did it. And no issues, uh, no dry hits, nothing with it. So it's a wicking issue. People are wicking this RTA wrong. Basically, when you're wicking this RTA, do not put your cotton all the way down to the bottom where it touches the platform. No. When you're putting that gold ring in there to cover your build, that ring should not touch your cotton, should not clamp down on your cotton. If it clamps on your cotton, you're going to get dry hits. You got to have the cotton elevated a little bit, cut it, thin it out good, put that piece on, you will have no issues. This thing, I'm vaping it right now, and I can't get a dry hit, and it's... You feel the vape is very, uh, I'm going to say, wet. Yeah, it's a wet, saturated, tasty vape. Yep. So there's no issues with this. I can put it up. I have it right now. There you go. You can show it. People can see it. 95 watts. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I, I had <clears throat> I purchased the wake when it first came out, so I got the first run, I guess. And I I vape really, really warm. I chain vape that thing. Yeah. And it keeps up with no problem. Once you learn how to wick it, I think the flavor on that thing is probably better than the reload. Uh the, the airflow is a little bit tighter, but it's smooth and flavorful, <coughs> man. That's a really nice tank. The only thing I don't like about it is the drip tip. Yeah. If the drip tip was different, man, that would be a serious contender for best RTA. It's very nice. Yeah, it's a it's a nice RTA and it works fine. There's yep. no the only thing about it though is, uh, you get whistling. No, I get whistling for my airflow. Really? Yeah, like I have to like have uh, I can't have it fully open. Let's see if it'll do it. I hear that. I hear it. So what I got to do is I got to cut that one airflow off and then kind of cut the other one just a little bit. And then it smooths it out. I wonder if it's a coil positioning. I, I moved the coils. All and it different still directions. did it every time? Yeah. All three times that I uh, did the wicking on here, I moved the coils also around. Try mm. and fix also the whistling sound. So uh, oh. This is the Wake RTA for anybody that's interested. Yeah. I believe the owners of Dot Mod, when they left Dot Mod, they started uh, Wake Mod Co. Yep. And this is their RTA. Yeah. Yep, so just to clarify, I know I said in the other shows that probably, uh, you know, <clears throat> that this was a defect that I had. And it's not a defect. That's just the actual RTA. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. There's a lot of people that are hating on it. I don't understand what that's about. Is it because they didn't tell people that they changed the design? He or told, you... He told me they made a mistake. They should have put on their website that they changed it. But they and let everybody it. know. Yeah, they figured they sold 3,500 pieces, but people are, I guess, seeing the pictures and they're getting confused. I got confused. I was like, oh, shit, this is a defect. But I don't know. Anyway, so I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Oh, man. You want to talk about uh, vape conventions, right? Yeah. The, I, I got a message this week from someone, and with all the vape conventions coming up, like we're going to be at Foxwoods next weekend, and there's going to be a ton of reviewers there. There's going to be a ton of companies there. Juice companies, hardware manufacturers, advocacy groups. And um, I got a, a message from someone saying that we should talk about on the vape team um, 
what to expect when you go to your first vape event. And having been to many of them, all of us on the vape team, uh, I think we do have some experience and, and we can sort of give you a heads up on what to look forward to. So the first thing I'll talk about is preparation. And not preparation age, because Mark seems to think that's funny as fuck for some reason. I'm just Go ahead, thinking, Mark. Take it no, away. No, I'm just thinking of other things when you say preparation. Go ahead. While you were talking, Mark was like in this look in his face. He was just smiling at himself like this. Is. I just wait for what Brian was ready to say. Like, I'm like, what's Fagan up to right now? I know he's up to something. What was I going to say? Because in my head, I, I picture all the things that actually do happen at Vape Expos, and I'm waiting to see what Brian says. Go ahead. Well, one thing that happens is friends like to buy you a cup of coffee. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so this is the problem that I have. So I, I, I have attention issues, right? So I, I get overstimulated at these vape events, and there's so many people, and there's so many things going on, and especially if I'm, like, working at a booth or something like that. So it's hard to focus on one conversation when there's 20 other things going on at one time that all want to take your attention. So sometimes it seems like I'm sort of like not paying attention or I'm in a bad mood and I'm really not. I'm just completely and utterly overwhelmed. So if you see Mike, if you see Mark, or if you see myself or anybody else that you know, do yourself a favor, do them a favor, go up to them and say hello. Because it's, it might seem like they're being cold or distant, but they're really not. They're probably just completely and utterly overwhelmed by the amount of people that are there. And yeah. there's just, <clears throat> it's very difficult. But as far as like money, most vendors will take credit cards. A lot of people always ask, should I bring cash? I do think you should bring some cash. Um, most of the time the hotels or the convention centers have Mac machines, but most of the booths have like a little swipe machine on their cell phones or they have like a cash register or something like that. But cash is always king, so it's not a bad idea to have cash with you. Hit that go juice ahead, Mike. Booth, strictly cash. There you go. Hit that juice booth, strictly cash. So that's why you need to bring some cash with you also. The other thing is you want to be careful with all your mods. Everyone that goes to shows likes to bring their best gear. You know, you pack up your little backpack or your bag or whatever. In Mark's case, your little fanny pack. And you have all the best stuff you have. But there's always the chance of you forgetting it on a table, somebody else walking away with it or losing it. So you want to make sure that you have everything organized and on your persons. If you're going to leave it somewhere, make sure you leave it somewhere with people you can trust. That's yeah, a definite. You would think at a vape expo where you get all these vapors and you guys are all friends that no one would steal your shit. People steal shit at the vape expos. They'll walk away with your mind. Yep. Happens all the time. There's always that one creepy dude that walks around and just steals shit. Yep. No, yep. It's not me. I've done it before. I've left a mod on a, book, a table and started walking. got distracted. I'm looking at something that people are talking to me. What's up? Hello? Talking. And then someone calls me over. I walk over and then I realize, oh shit, where's my mod? Then I'm trying to retrace where I was. Thank God the model was sitting on the table. It happened to me once. Yep. Um, the other thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure that if you're there on the first day when it opens, be prepared to wait in a long fucking line. Yeah. The line in the morning, you're almost better having like a late breakfast and showing up a little bit later after it opens because the line is always ridiculous. And it's a good time to sort of meet people in line and sort of socialize. But if you're one of those people that doesn't like to wait in line, Definitely give yourself like an hour or two after it opens to show up. Uh, also, if you see Jay Hayes at the vape event, be very, very careful. He's extremely mean. He's been sharing in chat tonight that uh, he's not the kind of person you want to fuck with. So you want to be careful with that. The last convention where I met him at, as he walked in, he was just slapping people in the face. As he was yeah. He's a hitter. Yep. So. And he walks around. Be careful, too, because that hand movement he does like this. He actually walks around like that. I've seen him poke people's eyes out by mistake. Do it. Is. So, he terrible. should get like decorative thimbles for his fingertips. <laughs> you know, like little thimbles. Um, the other thing is, is that most of the time the web pages for the vape event have a list of all the vendors. And they <clears> usually have a map of who's there. So you want to pick where you want to go and what you want to get. Um, in order to get what you want, you need to be real quick on that shit because a lot of things sell out at these vape events. So the first day you want to be there, you want to pick what you want, you want to go to it, and you want to pick one up. Now, if you want the best deal on stuff, you want to wait till the last day, the last hour of the show. Most of these companies don't want to pack everything up and ship it back to where they come from. A lot of people travel across the country and across the world to come to these events. So if you wait till the last hour of the show, there's usually great deals to be had. But that's not saying that everything's not going to sell out before then. Yep. So it's one of those things. It's you a gotta, risk. 
Yeah, it's yeah, a risk. Deals are basically going to be mostly on liquids to find deals. Maybe mods. I don't know about mods, but the liquids, yeah. Yep. Uh, the other thing you want to make sure you do is to wear comfortable shoes. I can't stress that enough because oh, yeah. you will be standing on concrete for many, many hours, and it gets, at least for my old ass, my back hurts, my knees hurt, my feet hurt. So wear comfortable shoes. Yeah, but it's tiring. I recommend also bringing a shitload of condoms because there's a lot of after parties after these expos, a lot of fucking <laughs> going on. And if you don't have protection, you're going to be shit out of luck. You don't want to have to run down the stairs to the lobby to get rubbers. So bring condoms, lots of them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Mark, you haven't gotten laid since the 90s. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> that is true. Mark went there with the fucking 10 rubbers, came back with 15. <laughs> yeah. The only thing Mark gets is a cease and desist letter from the people that call the police on him. <laughs> I will say this, that if you want to spend time with Mark, do so in the first half of the first day because yeah. he has definitely been known to just leave the expo, hop on a $1,000 flight, and head back to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, do you want to talk about that for a minute? Let's, well, actually, let's talk about Movekin, your relationship with them, and what happened because there's a lot of controversy surrounding that. I, there's a lot of controversy? Yeah. I was overstressed. I was having an anxiety panic attack, and I got on the next flight and flew the fuck out of there. <laughs> I did tell Movkin that I would be right back. So, are they still there waiting? Yeah, I think they're still there, actually waiting for me to come back. Dude, I remember when he walked out. Were you with us, Brian? Were you there in the lobby when he walked right by us? Yep. Like, he's like, then he was like, dude, where are you going? He's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Three hours later, we see him fucking in his room in the vape layer live on YouTube. We're like, what the <laughs> hell is going on here? Yep. He jumped on a plane straight to Chicago. He was dead serious too. He's like, we'll be right back. Miami wasn't for me. Oh, Definitely not for funny. me. Yes. And then after that event, the uh, move kit went bankrupt. <laughs> yep, it did. How do you feel I about that? I have a lot of demands. If you want me to work for your company, there's a lot of demands you must meet. And if you can't meet them, then, you know, hey, I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. you must feed me. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're going to sample, if there's CBD gummies at the event... And or you just see gummies and you don't even know that they're CBD. I'm just going to tell you straight up: don't sample too many of them. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it because you'll end up in a chair in a coma. It's just not something you want to do. Definitely stay away from the uh, we CBD got, gummies. We got two donations: Helton Non Nanda. Thank you guys for everything you do. The Guru TVC and the Sellout Mark. Thank you. Yes, oh, Marcella, Ronnie Murray. Shout out to Ronnie Murray for the donation. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie Thank you, Ronnie. Yeah. Uh, also, if you bring a backpack, prepare to have it searched. You definitely want to make sure you know that when you head into the expo. Yeah. Uh, also, batteries. Huge, huge, huge issue. Um, realize that you're probably going to be vaping more than you usually do because everybody's just fucking vaping their faces off at the Vape Expo. Prepare to have the juice that you're tasting not taste like anything after like the first hour. Yep. And also make sure you bring a lot of spare batteries because it's hard to find an outlet. What are you going to bring your battery charger and set that up? It's it's really difficult. So you want to make sure you have lots of spare batteries. The worst thing you want is to be bumming batteries off of people when you're at the vape event or having your batteries die. Yep, yep. Uh, what do you guys think about bringing like uh, kits for doing builds and you know all your tools? Do you think that's a good or a bad thing? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure there'll be places there where someone will do a build for you, put it in. But uh, if you're staying the weekend, why not? I, I know I'm bringing it just in case I need to rewick something. You know, my builds will be fine just in case I need to change cotton out. Well, tasting liquids too. You're going to be going through so many liquids on your cotton. If you got a dripper, you're going to want to change out that cotton. You know? I usually have, have, have all my shit pre built when I go there so I don't have to deal with all the tools and cotton and all that shit. Like when I first started going to expos, I would bring like every fucking thing. And then I found out I would never use half the shit I brought. Yeah. So just don't, I wouldn't overpack because you may think you're going to use all that shit, but in reality, you're not. Thanks to Sean Kirkwood for the $15 donation. We appreciate it, Sean. Much love. Yep. Sean Kirkwood. Yeah. Don't bring too many mods. That's the one thing. Yeah. I know. Remember the first events we went to, Brian? Yeah. <sighs> 
<laughs> we brought in our whole arsenals, like, and it's like we're, we're lugging it around, and we're wondering why did we just bring all this? But we we did it like two or three events, and then after that, we we're like, well, me, I know, I stopped. I started bringing maybe two or three mods, and Brian was still bringing. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the table when I was like? separating things and like moving everything across i brought my whole entire vape player with me and i had this whole table with everything spread across the table <laughs> jay hayes uh this is for you mark knock out the patreon brother get on board daddy o and this extra funds is for rubbing alcohol if you shake my hands so basically you need to make sure you have clean hands if you're going to shake his hand at the vape expo i wear rubber gloves thank you mark likes to say hello with his mouth yeah, yeah jay's, jay's is a germaphobe yeah. Oh, is he one of those kind? Oh, oh. He's one of those guys. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. Gonna oh, does he have like the little the little clip on his fucking on his belt that has like the the squeeze liquid? Dude, as soon as you shake his hand, he'll grab like the what do you call that? The hand sanitizer, and right in front of you, and start doing this. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna lick his face. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna you gonna give? Him, you should go up behind him and give him a sneaky lick on the earlobe. Oh. <laughs> Sitting there, squirt hand sanitizer on his arms, like, oh my goodness, oh, oh god. I'm a hugger. I just am. I love a nice, nice deep hug. Uh, other things to do at the vape event. Uh, also, when there is somebody up on stage talking about advocacy, I know it's exciting seeing your friends, meeting people, everyone sort of interacting. But try to pay attention to the level of noise you're creating when there's people trying to talk about a serious topic. There's nothing worse than being by the stage and trying to listen to the message and hear what's going on and having all the people just like still throwing a fit around the whole uh, convention center. So try to pay attention to that. Yeah, baby. Other than that, um, hmm. Mm. And try to take a shit in your hotel room not in the bathroom of the expo because so many creepy dudes peeking their peeking over the, the stall while you're shitting so it's always best to shit in your hotel room first usually mark that's hanging out in yeah there. mark hangs out in the shitter the whole time <laughs> he really does he goes he's like i don't know how to get out i'm locked in here <laughs> he's pushing the door the wrong way <laughs> he's he's he streams live when he's in the bathroom, which is crazy. Yep. He's like, I'm on Facebook on the shitter. <laughs> um, if you're gonna fly to the vape event or if you're traveling with your vape gear, from personal experience, because I've been searched probably ten times, I figured out something that stops that from happening. I think at least the last three times I've flown, I didn't get stopped. So I travel with. Um, where is that bag? You know the uh, anybody have one close to them? The the coil master yeah the coil master zip bag that has like the different sections in it yeah uh, i think they know what i'm talking about yeah it's a it's a bag that has like little little sections to put your mods in and it zips closed so mm -hmm. what i do is you know when you go through the x-ray machine at the airport and through sc screening for security i always have my batteries first of all all my batteries are in containers that are safe right and the next thing i do is any mods with um with batteries in them, take them out. Separate your batteries from your mods. The next thing you wanna do is have the batteries visible and you also wanna have all your mods visible. Open up the package, the zipper, and spread it open so that when you put it in its own bin and send it through the machine, they'll easily be able to see what is in there and they're not gonna have any problems figuring it out. The worst thing you wanna do is do what I did is have your bag and all your shit in a backpack closed because it looks like you could have bomb making equipment in there or whatever. So you wanna make sure you do that and, and you should go right through. Yep. And don't, don't check the bag with your vape shit in it. You yep. definitely don't wanna put it in your suitcase and check it to get put under the plane because they're gonna actually pull it they're going to pull you out of line for the plane, and you're going to have a huge ordeal like I did. Carry on. All in your carry on. All in your carry on. You want to carry it on. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Or you could just get a woman like Angela, who's a saint, and she can do all the packing and planning for you. Thank you. Yes. It's always good to have a, a life partner next to you that's willing to carry everything. Any other recommendations, guys? Anybody in chat have any recommendations for going to a vape? Oh, ah, this is an important one. If you have a small coil company, say you make coils on a small scale, or say you make e-liquid on a small scale, or say you develop your own custom handmade mods, whatever you do, 
don't throw them in a backpack and roll that around the expo and open it up in front of other vendors that paid thousands of dollars to have a stand there to, to, to legitimately sell products. You don't want to sell stuff at the Vape Expo shadily. If you have friends you want to trade with, if you have mods you want to sell maybe to somebody that's used, do it discreetly and privately. Don't do it at somebody's, like, don't say, oh, I'm going to just put it right here in the front of Hit That Juices booth and just start fucking filling up the space. You definitely yeah. don't want to do that. Yeah. Be respectful yeah. of other people and their businesses. Chad Cox, thank you for the donation, brother. I love Cox. I love Cox, too. Thanks, Thank Cox. You. Thanks, Cox. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he's with his wife it would be his and her cocks <laughs> oh man their Christmas card could say can I get my money back <laughs> that's got to be worse than growing up with the last name Fagan Cox Woo. I feel uh, your pain everybody loves Cox yep mm -hmm. yep yeah, right. common sense, be considerate. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Definitely. Um, what else? Anything else, guys, for the, for the Vape Expo stuff? I hope we covered everything in detail. I think that's uh, it. I think we pretty much covered everything. For the uh, Vape Mail, anything new this week so far? Uh, I got the V in the mail this week. They actually contacted me because um, they know that I, I love the... MMVV. Oh, put that on pause. Matt Trevino donation. Thank you. Thank you guys for all you do for the community. Quit smoking eight months ago. Thanks to you guys. Saved my life, and I'm sure you have saved more than just mine. Lo love the show each week, guys. Much love. Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, congrats. Eight months is awesome, man. Dude, one week, one day not smoking was amazing. You know, and that feeling that you get when you realize that you're not like a slave to cigarettes anymore, it's so empowering, man. It feels amazing. Yep. Like the, this actually works and it works well. My neighbor just quit smoking and he got a, uh, a jewel and he was out there during the snowstorm we got yesterday and he was jeweling, talking about, he goes through two pods a day and uh, he quit smoking and he's got a family and everything. Uh, Luke S S S S S Smear. Smear. Luke Smear. Getting my drop RDA delivered tomorrow. Can't wait. Yes. We're going to meet Luke in Foxwoods. Awesome. Yep. Luke's going to be there. Make sure you come oh, up yeah. and, and say hi, Luke. Sismir. Uh For anybody looking for Mark uh, at the Vape Expo, he'll probably be staring into the distance somewhere. So just look for him, and, and you have to go up to him and actually touch him and say, hello, Mark, and get his attention. Mike will be traveling around and at the Hit That Juice booth. Um, my wife, Amy, will be at the Hit That Juice booth selling earrings. She has Hit That Juice earrings she wanted me to promote for her. <laughs> she is an approved <laughs> approved salesperson for Hit That Juice. Yeah. Mrs. Vapes will be there on Sunday. Uh, Mrs. Vapes will be there on Sunday. Mrs. Fagan will be there on on the whole time. Uh, what else? Um, I will be working at the Digi Flavor booth with the Drop RDA. So if you guys want to pick up a Drop RDA, if you want to meet me and talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about, head over to the Digi Flavor booth. Um, hmm. Oh, next week, Mark will be here at my house for the vape team. So we're going to have a vape team show with Mark in the Fresh from the Kitchen kitchen. And I'll be sitting here and I'll probably run out there and have to attack him. Why can't we do it like the other way around? Why can't you sit in the kitchen and I can sit there? Because it's my fucking house and you're a guest. Yeah. Exactly. The guest should actually get the the best seat in the house. Yeah, but I don't want him having to navigate through all this shit, all this technology. I he would knock everything over. Yeah. <laughs> and he would start messing with stuff and like he'd be like, what's this toilet paper for? You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, I'd be uncomfortable. Uh, Jay, no, it's Saturday and Sunday is the event, not Friday. Yep. Saturday and Sunday. But as far as this V goes, um, I love devices like this. Just simple fucking voltage, <laughs> dual mm -hmm. 18650, power on and off button, and that's it. It hits hard it's, as hell. It's so nice. Does anybody know who that person is that created it on the side right there? It looks like Adonis. Doesn't no, it look it's, like a... It's something like something.me or some shit. Like, what? Look on the box. It'll say the person's name or something. Hold yeah, on. Let I... me look. I didn't get that. I guess it was just some, some random person designed it or something. Um, 
I was trying to figure out who the hell it was. Yeah. Where did you see it on the box? It, it's it says Adonis, dude. A D O N I S Adonis. No, I can't. Dude, it says Adonis. Yeah. What the uh, fuck? Your box is different from mine. Mine says something different. The V. No, I don't know. Maybe you got this. Says, mine says Adonis though. But dude, this is a great type of mod. It actually reminds me a lot of the uh, the volcano lava box. Yes. It has it like a, it, it. Actually, you know what it feels like? It feels like a cross between a lava box and the mod from Lost Vapes uh, company, the second company they had. Oh man, hold up, hold up, hold yep, up. It sure does. Yeah, it looks like a cross between a lava box and one of them. What what the, what the hell was that hey. called? There you go. Look, hey, the red black lava box. Yeah, it has that same rubbery grip on the side there, which I like. Luke Snow donation. Thank you, Luke. Mark Thanks, will be Luke. working. The smoke booth in his bra. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but these types of mods are awesome for RDAs. Uh, they hit so fast and so hard. There you go. Side by side. Yep. Wow, they are really alike. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yep. Mike, what was that other mod? The uh, the one from Lost Vapes Company. They the, the cheaper product they came out with that little. It looked like a bottle opener on the side of it. Oh, the mod defined, yeah. It looks like that this combined with the lava box. Yeah, this is an awesome device too. Yep, I've used this in a while now. I'm gonna bust this out again. Yep. So we'll be hanging out. You can also find us uh, at, during the show. After the show's over, we usually go out to dinner um, at different places. Saturday night, we usually have like reservations somewhere, but we'll also do like a buffet type of thing where everybody can sort of head to the buffet together and uh, eat. Maybe Friday night we'll do the buffet. And um, we also play table games and shit like that, and we'll hang out at the casino, and we'll be all over the place. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We, you know, we, never mind. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to say anything. Just say it. Be yeah. honest. No. Nah, don't <laughs> let him talk. No. I'm not say nothing. Luckily, I held back from that one. So, Sean Kirkwood said, do you guys uh, use one cotton pad for each coil or no? I usually, if these pads that I have, and I get the, uh, I think I buy these off of Amazon, but these are the Muji cotton pads. They come in a pack like this. But I use one pad. I'll peel off the top layer, to peel off the bottom layer. I know some people say don't do that, but I do it. And then I split the cotton pad completely in half. And then I'll use one for one three millimeter coil and one for. So I use one pad for two coils. That's what I do. Wow, you actually could use one pad for two coils? Yep. Wow. Damn, Michael, I could do one pad. I do uh, one. I could do four coils easily. Yeah. Since I peel off the top layer and the bottom layer. And I since I, them too. but I also do this like pull thing with my fingers to sort of fluff the cotton, and I separate it with my hands and sort of pull at it, oh. and then I roll it. I waste a lot, but yeah, one pad. I did hear that Ronnie Cash and Jay Hayes are be sharing a room together. Apparently, yep. mm. I hope they have a wonderful time. They make a handsome couple. They yeah. do. Donation uh, from Danny D. Danny Excited D. And the place to be. To be. You all in Foxwood. It's been a long time chatting on Facebook. It'll be awesome to meet you all in person. Hell yeah, Danny. Oh, Danny. Danny D. You watching, Danny? You paying attention, Danny? Look what just came in, Danny. Look what just came in. Told you. Yeah, buddy. There you go. You know what? I gotta check my... Messenger, real quick. Hold on one second. Sure, Mark, let's just stop the show. Mark, take over the yeah. show for a second. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Entertain us. Thank you, Mark. Entertain. Let's cover some advocacy uh, this evening. What's in the news, Mike? You said you were going to cover advocacy. Let's hear what you need to cover. <laughs> Nothing? Really filling up that time spot, Mark. Okay, did you, get any new, you get anything new this week, Mark? You want to talk about? <laughs> I got a bunch of juice. I haven't. I didn't get no devices today. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to get my twisted messes, the new one. I'm supposed to get it tomorrow. I'm pretty stoked about that. Excited. Oh, about check! That. I got an announcement actually. Yes. Uh, at, for people that are going to Foxwoods, I know a lot of people that are watching will be there. I will be giving away Falcon subom tanks from Horizon Tech. 
with the juices there. You buy liquids, you're gonna get a free tank. Yeah. I'll be giving away tanks. Nice. Brian, what are you gonna be giving people free since they support you? Um, you know what? Nothing, huh? I'll give them some action at the back door if they want. Uh, everyone, I'd recommend going up to the Digiflavor booth and asking for a discount. Yep. Tell me you know right. Brian. The least Brian could do for you guys supporting him is offering you guys a discount. I'm hmm. thinking at least 40% off. I don't. First of all, I don't make any money off the drops at the booths, and I don't set the pricing mark. So <sighs> I have no say in the matter. I will help you throw a build in your in your drop if you bring one or ha or buy one. We should have some tools and stuff like that uh, over there. Also, if you want to sample some hit that juice, we're gonna have some hit that donut in the drops. So Ooh. you can try it first and then buy it at Mike's booth. Hell yeah! Oh, by the way, I know I flashed these earlier. These two right here, I'm actually giving these away to two of my patreons that have SQs. So. Two lucky people will get this surprise in the mail. Son yeah. of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody said there's a lot of hissing sound, like something's auto-firing, and that is my wife getting in the, the bath. That's the pipe in the house because she's <laughs> getting the bath ready. So good luck. If you want to complain to my wife about her bath, you can go up there and do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Excuse me. <laughs> something in the <laughs> I'm sneezing. Bless there's hissing. I, I'm all fine. Dude, I had a cold for the past two days, man. My nose is all crusty. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm off my game. I, I'm so. I always get happy when I get sick before a vape event, like a week before. So at least I know I'm not going to be sick for the event. It's almost like I get it out of the way. I'm glad about that. Da -da, da -da. So, uh, what do we have planned for Thursday when I come to your house? Like any exciting activities? Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna go out to dinner. That's uh, right. exciting. But all right, go ahead. Then we're gonna go to the trampoline park. There we go. Now we're talking. And then we're gonna have you on the trampoline, and I'm gonna film slow motion trampolining by you. Oh shit! I hear it. Yeah. Should I mute myself? No, that's all right. It's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a snake. It's like a trouser snake. Spectre. Glad you're enjoying it, brother. Yep. I will say that these bird pods, I've been going through a lot of these bird pods, and uh, there's, a tr there's a great flavor you get from the bird, but with that comes really, really fast pod drainage. Like, the Zor that I have... This thing lasts like a week, these pods. And if you don't vape it every day, it could last like three weeks. The the bird pods, like I could kill a pod in like seriously two hours. Like yeah, the go juice quick. goes really, really quick. I usually, I'm already on my second pod that I've been nursing. Why is that with this thing? There's like, not a lot of liquid in there. It's, it's. You th are you sure that's what it is? I don't know. It just seems like no, it's. There isn't a lot of liquid in there. The pod is. That's what you see is what you get. That's the liquid. That's not a lot of liquid. And can someone unplug one of the empty pods and just fill it up and see how many mils you can fit in there, like 0.9 or one mil? Or... Well, yeah, I got to take apart. I saved the one pod for me. I'm going to fuck around with it. Because it does really seem like it burns through. Like, I don't know if it... it they just... don't state how much uh, capacity this is. I would say it's like one and a half milliliters. No probably. way. It's not one and a half. No? One? No way. It's... There's no way, because most of them are either like 1.5 or 2, and they don't yeah. burn through it that quick. I'll give you an example right here. This is the, oh, by the way, the smoke pods, the new ones, they're fucking pretty good. Pretty damn good. So, give you an example. These are, this is a 2 ml pod. What do you think this is? And this, the liquid goes all the way up in here, too. 2 milliliters? Yeah. This is under 1. It might be one or maybe a little bit below one. That's a point nine. Well, this one's empty, but that's a point nine mil pod next to the bird. Yeah. And the Miley pod doesn't seem like it goes through that quickly. It's so weird. Yeah. There's not a lot of liquid in it in the bird. And you notice how the pod kind of sinks, like smashes inward in the middle? Jay Hay says it's point five ml. Is it? That sounds more like it. 0.5, yeah. 
Well, it drains quick as shit. Yeah, it does. So, at the cost of those things, if you're going through two or three a day, it could get pretty expensive. The flavor's good, though. The mango is banging. I love the mango. I'll tell you, this this is a great pod right here. Smoke? Smoke one. What you get with this, I'll show you guys. Check this out. By the way, make sure you're hydrated, guys, when you go to the vape event. Somebody posted that in chat. Drink a lot of water and bring some water with you unless you want to pay 3 to $5 for a bottle of water. Yeah, they rape you on prices. So check yep. it. Smoke basically killed it with this pod system. So you get, obviously, the device, two pods, empty pods, refillable, right there on the side, the little black tab, refill them. Then inside here, this is why they're killing it, because this is what they did. They give you this with a needle nose so you can fill it. So you put your liquid in here and fill it easily with this. That's fucking awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use like a stabbing tool in order to pop the little cover yeah. off. I hate that. This right here is possibly the worst method of filling up pods. This little glass dropper. Yeah. It gets all over the place. That's what's good about these bottles is if you have that glass dropper, empty it inside one of these and you're good to go. Yeah, this is like the worst way to have Nixol, I think. And and, a lot uh, of times the pods have little openings and there's not an air release outlet. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't allow the air to sort of go back out. So it ends up bubbling inside and coming out the opening if you do it too fast. The airflow on this thing, the vapor you get off a pod, it's fucking great. Look, look at the vapor. Is that a... Uh, I'm assuming it's direct lung, right? Yeah. Dude. Not so long. Melt along? Holy shit. Yeah. No shit. Melt along. Flavor's good? Yeah. It's pretty good. Very cool. I'm impressed. They got two of them. They have that one. They have one that's shaped like... This is like shaped like the Fix, I think it's called. Yeah, the PHIX. This one here is almost looks like a jewel, but it's got a different shape. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. That's their other one. Now, with this one, you fill this pod without removing the pod. There's your fill port right there. No shit. Yeah, so you don't have to remove the pot. You just go like that, take that bottle with the needle nose, fill, plug it. Right. Yeah. So that this one, the red one is the fit. And the blue the blue one here, the shaped, is the infinix. And then they got a third one, which is this one here, called the Rolo. And with this one, you just uh, basically pull this off. It's a little bit of pain. There we go. Pull it off, and that's your pot. Oh, okay. Right there. It sort of looks like the Soran drop. Yeah, it's the opposite, basically, of the Soran. This is the mouthpiece here. And there's your mouthpiece there. So it's basically... Good job, Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, good job, Smoke. They Hot love life. you. They do. Have you apologized to them in writing yet? Fuck no. Okay, good. <clears throat> uh, we have to do some giveaways. Oh. Let me, let me show you guys one more thing. Yeah. Tell my muchacha. One, one more thing. One more thing. Someone said 24 karat gold bow is better. Hold up. Since we're talking about 24 karat gold. How about a gold Rolo? Oh, that oh, shit. Yeah. It looks like a little clit stimulator, like a little personal <laughs> vibrator, doesn't it? Like vibro tongue? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. That's what I see when, when I look at it. Anyway. Anyway. Um, can you bring beers down from the room in a plastic cup? I recommend probably filling your water bottles with vodka. Yeah, because they check your bags. So, yeah, so just fill your water bottle with like a clear liquid, like vodka or maybe some gin or something. I don't know. Well, or do it old school. Just get a pint and shove it, you know, jock it. Walk around with a pint in your hands. And or you a jock it? Pint. Well, you can do what Mark did with the Valerian egg. Shove it up your ass. There you go. Dude, that egg doesn't even have like a lacquer on it. It was like super absorbent. I bet you that thing still smells. Where is that egg, Mark? Uh, hold up. Indy's best. 
Indie Best in chat said smoke is shit and just trying to make money. They have no idea what the hobby vapor wants or needs. But you guys gotta remember the hobby vapor is very minimum. The hobbyists when it comes to vaping. The majority of vapors are not hobbyists. So that comment doesn't make sense. You know? Yep. We gotta announce giveaways. We have two giveaways tonight. Ba -ba -ba. The first one. Just is... the last replay, right? Yeah, this is from the last show. Yes. And this is from Yeah. Bradsvapor.com, baby. www.bradsvapor.com. Brad I don't know. I'm not sure. I nice. do have an update though. Easdale says that the Amy's done one in the shower. Thank you. Thank you, Easdale. I don't know how he knows that, but it's creeping <laughs> me out. <laughs> he lives right across the river too. This doesn't make me feel good. Wait, how did he get his account back? I just want to know that I'm. Huh, I don't know. Wasn't his account banned or something? Well, no, he's got a different account. This one's Easdale V2 version two. I heard he was violating female YouTuber viewers. That's why he got it pulled. Mm -hmm. So we're, what's uh we're doing giveaway, Brad? Right? Yep, Brad's a giveaway. So the giveaway is for the G box. Last week we we're giving away the G box from Brad'sVapor.com. That is from Geek Vape. And Mark is looking up the winner right now. Here we go. The winner is going to be. Read the comment in your head first, Mark. Da -da -da -da. Mike. Ooh, Tanguma. T A N G U M A. Tanguma. He says, "Slap my G box, Brad." Kick ass show as always, guys. There you go, Mike Tanguma. Yo, congrats, Mr. Mike. Brian's in another world doing something else, so. <laughs> no, I'm just getting the giveaway for tonight from Brad. So contact uh, Brian, I believe. On yeah. Facebook. Yeah, uh, contact me on Facebook Messenger, The Vapor Chronicles, and send me a message with your name, your address, your email address, and a picture of your photo ID. And, and you need to be from the U.S. and you need to be of legal vaping age in the state that you live in. You still do they still re you still requiring nudes or no? And if you want to send nudes, there might be an extra something in there for you. Oh, speaking of nudes. I'm going to show this. I don't All right, think let's not. Uh, let's continue. Wait, I want to show this. I got a message from Jay Hayes on Facebook the other day. Oh, no, don't show it. Don't, don't show, show it. it. I don't want to get the show pulled. You'll get the Come show on. pulled. Don't show it. You're crazy. Anyways, if anyone anybody wants a picture of Jay's junk, uh, he was nice enough to send me a photo of it. We were talking about uncut cut vapor viewers. So, yeah. There you go. This picture will be my, on my Patreon. So we got to pay to see it. <laughs> All right, we're going to do uh, uh, Mark. Hold up. Let's do oh, – are we announcing uh, Brad – next week's Brad? Or you yeah. want to do so the other one? Let's announce next week's Brad first. Okay, what's next week's Brad? Next week we're going to be giving away the RX Machina from Wismec, the RX Machina from Wismec from bradsvapor.com. And you're going to need to type something not in the chat on this show but in the replay of this show in the comments section. But before you do that, don't leave. We're going to do a chat giveaway. We are going to do a chat giveaway, so don't leave after this is announced. I know all you guys come for the free shit, but stay for yeah, the more don't free shit. Don't miss out on the free shit. So don't yeah, don't miss out on the free shit. Yeah. I come just to come. I don't come I'm, for the free shit. Huh? Dude, you can't even come anymore. Let's be <laughs> honest. <laughs> um, so What's, what you need to put in the, in the comment section of the replay is, give me that tube, Brad. Give me that tube, Brad. Give me that tube, Brad, and... Uh, X1 if you guys want to do a chat giveaway. Come on, let's get this. X1 if you want to do the chat giveaway because starting this week we are going to be doing this. Live chat giveaway from Inikin. That is right. Live chat giveaway sponsored by Inikin. <coughs> what are we giving away, Mike, in the chat we are tonight? We're giving away to two lucky winners the Zenith Chroma Kit. Yeah, baby. And uh, for, if this is not your style of vaping, give it away to a beginner if you win. There you go, the Anakin Chroma. So all you have to do is put X1 in chat. And how long How long do we wait for this? A uh, good two hours. Is it? How long wait? Oh, wait, let them let them. Uh... Am I doing this? Well, yeah, we're going to do a, a chat giveaway so you can get the chat. 
I need to be notified of this ahead of time for the That's show. That's right. We need people to X1 that shit. Yeah, so Anakin's going to be sponsoring giveaways on the show every week, and yeah. whoever wins. And by the way, this is for global. They'll ship anywhere in the world. Am I right, Mike? Yes, they're going to ship the giveaway. So this, the chat giveaway from Anakin is for all over the world. Everybody could participate in this one. The Brad's Vapor giveaway on the replay. Where what is it again? What you have to comment? Uh, give me that too, Brad. That one's only United States giveaway. For the Brad's Vapor. Yep. What if the winner's in like Nigeria? That's outside. That's all over the world. They're part of the world. What about Mark? Anywhere the in the world. North Korea. They, they don't have uh, YouTube in North Korea. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry maybe. about that. There we go. Nice clarification, Mark. Just want to be clear. You never know. We might have some North Koreans out there watching the show tonight. Yes. All right. So let's do all my NK followers out there. There you go, Mark. You're really positive. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Fuck it. Anyway. All right. Uh, if you win this check giveaway that Mark's about to announce the winner for, you need to contact Mike Vapes. On Mike Vapes's Facebook Messenger, is that right, Mike? What's that? For the Anakin giveaway, yes. The winners of the Anakin giveaway, contact me on Facebook, Mike Vapes, Facebook. If you uh, can't, if you don't have a Facebook, on my YouTube page, you'll find my email address there. Email me. Touch when me, you, and when you email me. Uh, I need, what do I need? Picture ID? What name, I... name, address, name address, uh, telephone I'll... number, email address. Number. Definitely a phone number too. Yeah, it's telephone number, number, email address, name address, telephone number, email address, and a picture of a photo ID. Yes. Social security number, license. No, Mark, no, Mark, no, no Mark. we don't need social security numbers. And uh, you're No, income. Mark. No. No? No. <laughs> All right, let's do this giveaway. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we uh, go. Just to let people know, if you've done X1 more than once, you've been disqualified. Yes. Here we go. No, I'm just joking. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we're not. Yes, we are. All right, winner number one. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Andrew WNC. Uh, w as in wet, N as in nitrogen, Thank C God. as in clitoris. <laughs> Thank you. Wet nitrogen clitoris. There we go. Andrew, wet nitrogen clitoris, congratulations. <laughs> Let me write that down. Yeah, look for that, Mike. <laughs> Andrew right. WNC, congratulations. Thank you guys for watching the vape Whoa, team. Stop. You said two winners, I thought. Yeah, what are you doing? I was just, it, I was doing a, a fuck you're up. Trying to, you're trying to end this. What, what's wrong with you? What are you going to do again? Settle down. Take it easy. There you go. Kick back, relax. <sighs> All right, since Brian really interrupted me, I was on a roll there. Here we go. Winner number two. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> wow, this is an interesting name. Daniel Coca. Not Ooh. Coco. Coca. C O C A. Coca. Daniel Coca. And that cocaine. Coca Cabana. Congratulations, Andrew WNC and Daniel Coca. Coca. Ay, ay, ay. Me on Mike Vapes Facebook. Daniel Coca. Daniel Coca. Daniel Coca. <laughs> All right. Now let's get some hashtags of Bulk Hogan in the chat. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Daniel Coca. Oh, Coca. Hey, fuck me, Coca. Fuck me. Hey, Coca. What are you doing, man? Oh, Coca. Oh, Dude, he can ride a dick. Look at him. He's got that fucking hip motion, the posture, and everything. Mark, you've been fucked by a dude before, am I right? <laughs> be real. Seriously. I'm dead fucking serious. You have. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Do you Nothing let him finish yet. inside you, or do you... Uh... <laughs> Nothing as it went up my ass, thank you. Yeah, you're a liar. Bulk Hogan for president. <laughs> Coca! <laughs> Greg is like, end it. <laughs> yeah. Coca, Coca, Coca. Oh, look at all the Bulk Hogan's. Coca, Coca, Coca. This is actually yeah. like a good shirt. I, I might struggle ripping this one. Coca, 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 Coca. 
Coca, Coca, Coca. I don't think I can do this one. Can I? You have to get psyched and pumped. Yeah, get amped. Punch yourself in the dick. <sighs> I'm not as like psyched as I was last time. I don't think it's gonna but be. Don't do it. We don't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I might hurt myself. I might pull a muscle. You need to get your adrenaline going, or not at all. These shirts are expensive. It was like eight bucks for three of these. So yeah, eight dollars for three. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want you wasting your money like that. I mean, that's fucking eight quarters. <laughs> Oh. All right, I think that's about it, right? That's it. We're finished. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully, we'll have the video quality fixed up for next week. You guys all know out there that, that bothered the fuck out of me the entire show. But, uh, yeah, we do the best no. we can. Come Mark, on. that is absolutely the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> oh my God. Does it look good? No, it looks fucking brown and... End it. Should I spread the cheeks? Bye, guys. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> coca, coca! Oh, my God. Did you end it? Yes. <laughs> coca, coca, coca! Coca, coca, coca! It's like giving a small kid Coca-Cola. Oh, my God. I was just ready to get naked, too, you son of a bitch. 20-minute outro. 20-minute outro. Luke Snow, five dollar donation. Mark, fucking do it. Thank you, Luke Snow. Why'd you do that? One? You know what? Why'd you end it, Brian? Go ahead, Mark. Rip your shirt off. Mark, he just paid five dollars. Go ahead. It's it's two two extra dollar two two dollars and fifty cents more than the shirt's worth. <sighs> do, 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 do. <laughs> 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 he looks like a ghost. <laughs> Bulk Hogan, ladies and gentlemen, like a lady. Oh, I can't remember. One. I, got, I ripped it, but... You're going to tear a tendon. <sighs> Dude, it's like a tablecloth. It looks like... Look how big it is. Look at that shit. <laughs> Dude, it's like a car cover. With car cover. <laughs> Jesus. They to cover boats, man. Dude, well, look how big this shirt is. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, you I can, can still probably wear it, though. You can just, wear it as a toga. I can put it out like this and just pin it in the back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that 1980s low neck look. Oh, no. The shirts are getting expensive. All right, guys. Well, your 20 minute outro begins again now. Oh my god. Coca! Coca! To Mark, have you been lifting? You ripped that shit off with ease. <laughs> Ricky says it's a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more like a shower curtain, but. Oh my god. Coca! Coca! We have a shirt wardrobe in here. Hospital gown. There we go, Craig. Perfect. You know what you gotta do? You gotta put on your Vegas lounge. For people to, to buy you those shirts. <laughs> Yo, you know how like the strippers have those like Amazon like gift registries? Mark should have an Amazon gift registry for those like t-shirts. <laughs> Dress like a lady! Go, 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 I need a shirt. Fuck this. <laughs> Minute edition Fagin Snug. <laughs> Another wonderful week, Mike. Finishing it right now. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.